Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be doing the JL hood latch upgrade for the JK Wrangler. Now it's kind of putting this off, um, I don't really want to do it, but I noticed when I was driving about 100, 110 kilometers an hour, so about 60 miles an hour maybe, I noticed a little bit of a, like a little bit of a flutter in the bonnet. And it's just something that happens over time with the original JK hood latches, they're like a plasticky, rubbery, sort of compound and they just wear and tear over time it's just one of those things so instead of buying a oem uh set and just replacing those i wanted something a little bit different and something that looks a little bit newer because they're not the best looking things the factory ones so i've seen this many times before and so have you guys but i thought i'd do it on my jeep and bring you guys along for the ride and it's so simple and easy i thought my son would kind of help me as we go as well but today we're swapping out the original hood latches and replacing them with a set of brand new JL hood latches. So I've already done the passenger driver side, passenger side, driver side, and massive difference. And I'll show you guys, there's a reason I only did one side, so I can show you guys the difference on how firm the new ones are compared uh, to the original Jeep ones. A really simple process, uh, really straightforward, it takes about like 15 minutes. I'll show you the easiest way that I found to do it. Um, it is a little bit tight to get your fingers in there, but all you'll need is a 13 uh, mil socket or a spanner um, and also a 10 mil spanner for the ones actually on the bonnet and a 13 mil for the ones on the guards. Just a little bit tight, so I got my son, hopefully with his small little hands, uh, hopefully he can get in there um, and get those bolts out for me. But I got these JL hood latches of eBay for $51 Australian, which I thought was really good. They do vary in price. 51 was probably the cheapest I can, well I could find it, uh, but if you guys found a cheaper one somewhere else, please let me know, but I'll also leave a link for that in this I'll also leave a link for that in the description if you guys want to check those out. Get some nice hood latches for your JK as well. Um, but as always, they come nicely boxed up. As you can see, there's already one missing. But just the overall feel and the quality of the uh, hood latches, the JL ones, compared to the uh, JK ones is a massive difference. These are actually uh, metal, and they've got a nice little spring in them as well. We'll grab one out. As I said, they're metal. Um, they come with new nuts and washers and they've got a nice spring in them as well. They're very firm and tight. Um, now I have heard a few people having to drill big holes in the bonnet and the guard to be able to make these fit. I didn't on the other one. Um, the fitment is a little bit off so I might have to do a little bit trimming on something um, but it's not too bad. So let's get onto it. All you will need to do is remove the, the grill off your Jeep. Now this is probably going to be the easiest way to be able to access these bolts at the back so all you got to do is pop your bonnet the new latch on one side the old cruddy one on the other side pop that up rest you guys there sorry about the dirty motor oh that actually won't work rest you guys there pop that up now to be able to remove the front grill all it is is little clips here so you need a flathead screwdriver or a little plea tool you can get from different hardware shops. So, flathead screwdriver. Pop that out. And same on that one. Obviously I've already done the other ones, but there's quite a few you got to do. Pop. And that one. Son's just playing, he's not really paying attention to what we're doing. So, then what we've got to do is got clips uh, at the bottom here, here, and here. If you are running a winch, you might run into a few problems with actually pulling that grill out. What we've got to do is go pull, pull, pull. Don't lose these clips. Actually, where did the other one go? So, I did lose one. The one's on the ground somewhere. All right, so, oh, there it is. Found it, don't worry. So, you can either leave the grill sitting like that. Actually, pull that last one out. There you go. Oh, God damn, I actually just broke that. All right, and that one. Okay, I broke two clips off. So, not ideal. I might just leave it like that. That way we can get up until, so the nut you got to do is actually wedged in there. So it's pretty tight. You, you might be able to go from this top section, but I found it easier if you go from this bottom section there. Uh, maybe you can 
bolts out there. All the way up there. So that bolt there is only a 13 mil. So we'll grab our 13. Already easing straight forward. 13. Oh, 13. I advise you guys. Now a lot of people don't give YouTubers and uh, people credit uh, when trying to work. Trying to work and do stuff with one hand and trying to film and talk at the same time, it's actually quite hard. Uh, so I'm trying to film this the best I can with one hand, but it's really tight in there, um, but you'll be able to see it straight forward. All I do is line it up um, and it's down, down there. I don't know if the camera's focusing or not. It's down and there. So it's a little bit tight, but you'll be able to get it super simple. So 13. So that one's done, uh, not too bad. Uh, as I said, just a little bit tight to get in there. Um, and then all we've got to do now is get your 10 mil, come up here, and you've got two nuts just there. So, where do I put my 10 mil? There, Bailey. See, this is why you have children, guys. Oh, lefty loosey, righty tighty, not lefty righty lefty. Most of the time you can just under uh, pretty easy, uh, they're not overly too tight. So two 10mm nuts, that's all we've got to do to take those ones off. Um, now it's a little bit, a little bit, bit grubby up in there, so we, what we're going to do, we're going to give it a little bit of a clean before we put it back on. That way, we know it's all protected. It's got no rust, it's got no moisture in there um, as well. Just peace of mind. Um, and the same with that one. Kind of looks like a smiley face, doesn't it? Same with that one as well. So let's give it a bit of a clean, then we can start putting it on the new latches, and we can see the end result. All right, now that's all nice and clean. So we've got the new latch and the old latch. Look at that difference. So much cleaner, nicer, better material, nice little um, spring latch on it. Um, I feel like it catches a lot better. Um, and it's, you can see how that one's, oh man, can you see that? How that one can pull so much. Any force at about 100 k's, 60 miles, whatever it might be, that's probably what's causing that little hood flutter. And it just looks a lot cleaner as well. All old and faded and manky, new, beautiful and clean. And I love that it gives you new hardware as well, if it looks nice. The ones on this old one here were a little bit rusted out. So this part's a little bit... Now, for me, the other reviews I've seen online, people are like trimming this down, drilling bigger holes and stuff. And I don't know if they've got different latches or what, but my one seems to fit just fine. It's got two little... Uh, grooves in there and the bolt hole all right so for some reason this one doesn't fit as well on this side than it does on the other side I didn't have to trim anything but I can see why they were saying on other videos way to trim it, it doesn't fit exactly flush in there these two little uh, grommets there don't line up with the other grommet holes that these, oh, that one's broken. That these ones here were in. So, all I did, like this is, some of it's plastic, so all I did was get a knife and just trim that down a little bit. Just so it's a little bit higher, so those holes line up a little bit better. All right, so that's all I had to do. Uh, you guys might run into slight problems, but for like a bolt-on um, aftermarket part from a newer Jeep, it's pretty damn good, to be fair. You guys can either round these holes out um, a little bit more if you want, um, or you can just do what I did and just trim that down slightly. For some reason it didn't do that on the driver's side, but on the passenger's side I had to. I might go along and do that just so they're the same, so the bonnet actually clamps down the same as well. So not like a massive deal, um, but just something you've got to, got to be aware of. 
campsite, time to bolt these on. So it might be easier for two people uh, if you're trying to get the washer and the nut in there. I found if you arch it back slightly and get the nut between two fingers, you'll end up dropping it. Oh no, I got it. And you can just thread it on. So you want to go tight, not too tight. Tight, tight, too tight, broken. Just tight enough. Just so tight enough it's not, not going to move around. And that's pretty much it. Then grab our other bonnet, bonnet, grommet thingy. And it's pretty straightforward. You guys probably don't watch that. Love how it comes with new hardware, new washers, new bolts, everything. Love it. Get rid of all the old crappy rusted stuff. Beautiful. Love it. Nice and clean. Nice black. Hmm. Must be like the bonnet stopper. Alright, let's chuck these on and then we can put the grill back on, close it up and we can see the difference. Can't wait. And we're done. So that's pretty much it. It's really simple and straightforward. A little bit of trimming. I might go back and trim down this one just so it sits down a little bit more. It just sits up a little bit higher on that side. Um, and that side. You can see that side sits a little bit more flush. Um, not too bad. But um, before when I actually had that one on with the new latch and that one on with the old latch, you could actually lift the bonnet up, say tight on that side, but actually move on that side. Would definitely recommend uh, replacing the hood latches, having your bonnet flap about <laughs> on the motorway is not a fun thing to see. It feels like the bonnet is going to go and you don't have a crack windscreen and have to replace a whole lot of stuff. But for 51 bucks, it's a nice clean upgrade. Gets rid of those old danky looking, uh, these ones, these old danky looking things. I think they just look a lot cleaner, it tidies up the Jeep a lot more. Old and faded, crappy, um, new and improved. I think they just look so much better. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if you guys like them. Um, it's alright if you don't. Please let me know if you don't like them as well. You're not going to hurt my feelings. A lot, maybe. Um, you might. But let me know what you guys think, if, what, you, what you guys upgraded to yourself. It might be something different. It might be something I don't even know about. 51 bucks, I think it's a great upgrade for your Jeep. Uh, makes it look a little bit more modern. Just makes it look a lot cleaner. So I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check these out from eBay as I said before. 51 bucks, uh, but that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, if you guys like this video, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.